Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Precision 3530 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can increase the storage in here or just make it go faster or what are the limits and how you can, the combination of the drive that you can have in here. All right. So just remember if you replace the main storage in here, you have to reinstall your Windows. I made a short video, I'll leave that link in the video description. How to install, how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. Also I made another video, how to install it properly on your Dell laptop without having any of those Candy Crush programs and like a bloatware installed on your in computer when you install the Windows. Even those affiliated antivirus programs. Check those links in the video description in case you want to do. This video is exclusively on how to open it and see the combination and upgradability of the storage. So first thing first, power off the laptop, back up your files, back up the back up your files, power off the laptop, flip it upside down. You want to grab a good screwdriver set. I would recommend iFix a screwdriver set as they have all the best bits that you need and the correct bits. You're gonna use a Phillips number one, and I can see that somebody before opened it up and try to remove the screw but they use a the wrong screw bit and they have damaged the screw head so you're gonna try to slowly rotate this one all the screws they have a little c-lock on the other end so it will not come out entirely you just have to loosen them up so we're gonna loosen up all the screws including the one in the middle just rotate until it just becomes really loosened also if you guys like my videos if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws, we're going to grab our opening tool. I'll be using a guitar pick for opening tool. And we're going to start from one corner, and we're just going to twist it, stick it in there, and twist it. You can work yourself around. I'm sticking about two or three millimeter, not the whole guitar pick. And then you just want to grab it, move it up and down, and you just want to hear those click sounds. Those are the tiny hooks that are getting loosened right on the case. So remove that. And I can see that somebody already upgraded the SSD to one terabyte Lexar drive in here. They probably had a mechanical drive in here. And you maybe have a mechanical drive in here. To remove any storage or upgrade this or RAM, you do not need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you do want to do it, just pull this handle that it comes with it upward and the battery will get disconnected just like that to so put it back in align it and push it down all right to remove the mechanical drive is a 2.5 inch mechanical drive i don't know why they put it right in here it just not allowing you to have an m.2 slot over here you could have easily placed an m.2 here if they have shifted it this way all right to remove the 2.5 inch drive, you want to remove four screws on the caddy. One, two, three, and the fourth one is missing in here. So I'm going to be removing three, but you should be removing four of them. So once you remove the screw, you slowly pick it up. Now you want to grab this plastic handle that they give you, this tape type. Grab it the same way for the battery, and you want to pull it upward. So pull this handle upward all right so there's your electron solid state drive you can get a good brand like a samsung plus or samsung evo those are really good or you can go enterprise with an intel series if you want or you can go with a mechanical one it has to be a low profile mechanical two terabyte mechanical low profile you can put in here but remember whatever you put in here you need this adapter just lift it up bring it out if you want to put a mechanical drive or any solid state drive in there, bigger one, make sure the orientation of the SATA is the same. So don't put it in the other way around. Otherwise, it's going to flip the rotation of the connector. So what you want to do, you need this metal bracket to hold it in place. So that it's being held down by four screws. One, two, three. Oh, guess what? It's missing a screw in here too. Four, four screws. Remove the four screws, remove the drive, and in the same position, put the new drive in there. And then grab the adapter. The adapter only goes in one way. Push it in there. Put the cable through this, right through this gap right there. And then you can bring it over, align it over the screw hole, put it there, and then push down the connector for the 
drive. Now let's remove this one and I can see there's an M.2 drive in here, there's an NVMe, but I do not have a, there's no screw hole or anything for it in here. Let's say you can grab a Crucial brand or Samsung brand, whichever you want. So let's see if it's gonna fit in there. Let's see, you're gonna bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, slide it there and bring it down. But if I put it there, there's no screw hole. I have no idea why. It's kind of sad, but there is something you can do with it. You can put up to four terabyte NVMe drive. It's much, much faster than having a port SSD in here. This is a SATA connector. This is an NVMe connector. And get a, about 0.5 millimeter foamy double-sided tape. And I'll say it's about five centimeter, no, half a centimeter foamy tape right on the double-sided tape. Put it right over here and then you can just put this one and it will just grab it from the bottom so it will prevent it from coming up. They do sell them those foamy double-sided adhesive. So put about this much in here and then put this one over 45 degree, bring it down and let the tape do the job and it will hold it in place and that will be fine. So you can do that one in there and you can keep this one here shifted maybe and pull the cable and make it a little, look. I can move this one underneath this one here, and I can move this one down, and I can still plug this one in, and have a four terabyte SSD or two terabyte mechanical drive. At the same time, you can keep your NVMe. At the same time, you just have to modify, put a double-sided tape under this one, because the screw holes will not match, and put a double-sided foam, uh, foam right under the NVMe. So that way you can have both of them with no problem. So. I'm gonna pull it out. This is just for demonstration, but you can do it. We have done it in the past with no problem. All right, so let's put this one back in to where it was. And put the four screws on the caddy. In this case, I'll put only three. Once you're done with that one, if you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over, put it down, squeeze the front end. You want to hear those click sounds on the side, on the back, on the between the screws. And one last thing is to just tighten up the screws right on the cover. Also, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna power it off. Put up, just gonna put the bottom of screws.